Switch to the boys division two, and in this first heat, the number one ranked team in the country, Newberry Park, and they are out well. They're top three through the first 800 meters at 2.08 for the first 800. They're the defending Southern Section champions, the defending state champions, and currently ranked number one in the nation, and leading our first heat in boys division two. Boys division two is a three heat division. That means the top five teams in each of these three races move on, and then the fastest sixth place team of those three heats. Individuals have to be in the top eight.
And our leaders will be coming up to the mile here shortly. Newbury Park last year tied the all-time course record here as a team. They ran 74.31 and equaled Arcadia's fastest time. It's an average of 14.54 for five boys on this course. And here comes our leaders. And here they come to the first mile. And they are out very well. Newbury Park to the first mile right at 440. That's the fastest first mile so far of the weekend. And they are at 440. That's Leo and Lexia and Braden Seymour. Braden Seymour was the Florida State champ last year at 1600. So this is the first time he has been on this course. And right there with Leo and Lex. Heading up the good back, Seymour and Leo and Lex Young were 440. Then a seven-second gap to Owen Otten of Hart. Heartline of El Toro also. Cantu of Newberry Park gives Newberry Park four of their boys in the top eight. And then Mangione of Hart, Mejia of Godinas, win of Custis of Murata Valley. Teamwise. At mile mark, we've got Newberry Park at 38, Park at 78, Citrus Valley 102, El Toro 109, Westlake currently in that fifth spot at 124, then we go Godinez at 174, and La Serna at 191. Leo and Lex Young and Braden Seymour now made it over the top of the switchbacks. Looks like Otten of Park leading that chase group. With the fourth man from New Red Park Cantu right there. Looks like Hartline of El Toro running with Otten in four and five, Cantu in six. Settling in, running pretty easy coming down the hill. And Otten Arden and Hardline moving very well. And once again, number one ranked team in the country. Their top three up front. Auden making a move to get cut up to that group. And Hartline. Crossover. This is a three division for the top five teams. And Leo left Young, a little bit of a gap there. Seymour about five meters back, still running confidently in third. Then Otten of Hart in fourth, Hartline in fifth. 
Barber of Westlake is moving up there with Hartline. Group has come through the two mile. We have Leo and Lex at 10.03, Ray and Seymour 10.05, and then Owen Ott in the park 10.16, Harline right there with them also, and Barber all at 10.17, then Cantu at Newberry Park at 10.23, Mangione of Hart at 10.23, Romero of Citrus Valley, he was in ninth at 10.27. And Diego Mejia of Bodinas, 1038, rounds out our top 10. Hearts the first with five across at the two mile. And as we turn to the west, look to the bottom of Reservoir, two of the best high school athletes in the country. They have already committed to Stanford. And here they go, heading up the hill. They have made an art of making this course look easy. And Seymour comfortably in third, taking the turn, doing very well for his debut on this course. Otten has comfortably moved into fifth. Now it looks like Barber is in sixth. Otten in fourth, Barber in fifth, and Hartline in sixth. And Leo and Lex halfway up Reservoir now. Cantu of Newberry Park in seventh. Mangione of Hart running in eighth. Looks like Romero of Citrus Valley in ninth. We are next go over the top of the hill. We're just a shade under 13. We're at 12.55. Stride for strides, looking like the twins they are coming down the saddle. Leo and Lex Young, not just two of the best runners in the country, but two of the very best high school athletes in the country coming down, heading to the airstrip. And Seymour still solidly in third. Um, And now 
Hunter is coming at the airstrip. Leo and Lex Young. Leo, 359, 600 meter runner in track. Lex, 835, 3200 meter runner on track. Now just about to make the turn, heading into the gauntlet. We're just at 14.30. This may be the easiest sub-15 you're ever going to see. As they say, coming up the line, and Seymour, a 4.11, 16-meter runner, coming around the turn, heading up the gauntlet, Hockey, Hartline, and Barber. And just about to come out under the bridge at 14.50. And across the line at 14.56. Oh my. And here comes the Timor Brady Seymour, the senior. And he'll go around at 15.50 for his debut barber from Westlake. Big finish. Audi and Hardline. They go 1520, 15-22, 15-23. And Jerry under the bridge. And Kinto gets in there to park four boys under 1535. Ethan Romero of Sickles Valley. He goes 1540. Leo Lex is time, the equal time of 14.56. Seymour is 15.14, Barber 15.19, Bob's 15.22, Hunter 15.23, Virginia 15.31, Cantor 15.34, Romero 15.38, and Sheedy of Newberry Park is their fifth man today at 15.57. Continue to finish in the first of our D3 heats. D2 now. Heat two approaches the mile mark. And El Toro has gone out well in that second heat. Looking at the team scoring again. This is active. That means it will change as each school's top five finish. But Newberry Park clearly our winner. We've got Newberry Park right now at 23. Hard at 64, then El Toro, 91, La Serra, very strong in that final to 105, and Westlake, 118 in that final and fifth spot, but Sisters Valley just six spots back at 125, so we'll have to see how that all plays out when all the team's runners have finished. And our leaders in the second heat, as you can see, Strump, Fast Horse to George, Fredericks, Figueroa, Hamilton, Hamill, Grossman, Zaberson, Gavin, all those boys right in the high 450 range at the mile mark. with about a 30 meter lead as they make the U-turn coming down off the switchbacks. Then a large group 